a Boston wedding official with Once Upon a Vow. As part of our Emerald Necklace elopement series, today we're checking out a couple of locations at the Boston Common and Boston Public Gardens. Let's go! The Parkman Bandstand is a landmark located on the eastern side of the Boston Common. The bandstand was constructed following the death of millionaire donor George F. Parkman in 1908. The Parkman family were considered Boston Brahmins, otherwise known as the Boston Elite. This is Parkman Bandstand. Today, the bandstand is commonly used for concerts, rallies, and speeches. Most notably, during his presidential primary rally, both Barack Obama and Deval Patrick, the first and only black governor ever elected in the state of Massachusetts, gave speeches from the bandstand. The Soldiers and Sailors Monument, located on Flagstaff Hill, was dedicated in 1877 in memory of Massachusetts soldiers and sailors who died in the American Civil War. Today, visitors come to sit, enjoy the views, and contemplate the sacrifice and impact of all those who fought to end slavery and keep the Union home. While the Boston Common was created as America's first public park in 1634, it was built for cross-town travel with practical and pastoral walkways. The Public Garden, on the other hand, was built two centuries later for a distinctly different purpose. Welcome to the Boston Public Garden. The Boston Public Garden was the first public botanical garden in America, purposefully designed with meandering pathways to encourage leisurely strolling through the flowery and decorative green space. Over 80 species of plants are cultivated in the greenhouses run by Boston Parks and Rec for future plantings in the garden. Today, you can admire the rich and unusual plants and enjoy the design and architecture of the Victorian era, which includes many monuments and fountains. Given its romantic setting, it's no surprise that the garden is a prime attraction for engaged folks and marriers. In the center of the garden is an artificial lake known as the Lagoon. As you'll quickly notice, there's a huge assortment of trees all along the garden's pathways, but the weeping willows that are featured prominently around the shore of the Lagoon are quite the sight to behold. You see, the willow tree symbolizes flexibility, which is a necessary quality for both weddings and marriage. There are many weeping willows to choose from here for an elopement ceremony. They can offer cover and shade and a sense of calm on your special day. The lagoon is also home to all kinds of wildlife, but here, ducks rule. In 1987, Nancy Shawn's Make Way for Ducklings sculpture was installed in honor of the most popular and beloved species in the garden. Leave the garden and cross on over to the Commonwealth Avenue Mall. This 32-acre stretch of land was designed by Arthur Gilman in 1856 in the French Boulevard style and became the spine of the elegant new Back Bay neighborhood. If you appreciate architecture and history, the mall offers beautiful backdrops that include American elm trees, 19th and 20th century sculptures with inspiring inscriptions, and pristine Victorian-era New England residential homes. It's a great place to take awesome photos. I hope you enjoyed this brief tour of Boston Common and Boston Public Garden. Adios, amores. Nos vemos pronto.